this video right now so how is everybody happy post christmas oh man i just got over a six day sickness coughing up all kinds of santa ropes that he magically shot in my throat and i didn't like it i woke up one morning had a salty taste in my mouth saw a little bit of white beard hair and i knew exactly what was going on so yeah man i was sick i one thing about me is i rarely ever get sick and then when i do get sick it's like a day or two days max bro i had this shit six days i'm still coughing up some fucking like like santa's goody hole matter of some sort i don't know but uh i remember i uh my buddy yammy man mentioned on twatter that there was a new strain of flu going around and i don't know just just the thought of new diseases and new sicknesses is terrifying so i looked it up it's like this h3n2 strand of uh the influenza which is the flu and uh yeah i i'm under the strong assumption that's what i got i just fucking mucinexed it out took a shitload of mucinex it combated that shit after a good five days and uh thankfully i got back to my normal dude this shit had me tasting food different this shit was making food not even it, it like was affecting my taste buds and shit it was weird i've never experienced some shit like that but hope you guys uh didn't have to suffer having being sick and shit and uh also hope you guys had an amazing holiday and an amazing christmas oh it's a nice highway patrol truck I needed to check something here out. I saw something on the news that bummed me out. Uh, this roller rink that I went to as a little kid burnt down, and I'm under the assumption it was for insurance fraud. I'm almost guaranteed. But, uh, oh, I went wrong street. Ironically, me and Franny got to go here one last time when uh, one of our friends knows the guy who owns the building as of now and uh he was kind of opening it up for the community to come by and skate which is really cool and uh, i got to skate on it one last time it was exactly frozen in time to the fucking 90s back when i was doing it when i was younger and uh un unfortunately one morning i woke up and i saw a news article of the stardust skating rink has burnt to the ground Yep, here it is right here. That is sad. <laughs> Fuck. I literally used to come here when I was a little kid and we'd skate all inside and now it's this. Yeah, apparently like I, it was like the most sketchiest thing everybody in their fucking mom's dad's grandma's half uncle's wife was saying that it was an insurance fraud and you could unfortunately some greedy piece of shit probably got away with it too and probably burnt this fucking thing down this thing's been here for countless years and you're telling me it just randomly spontaneously combusted out of its own goody hole and just burnt to the ground yeah i doubt that yeah man but a new strain of flu do you know how terrifying that is a new strain of flu dude fuck that dude it's so scary how easy like you know shit spreads and ooh, just an eerie thought to think about a new strain of flu i ain't trying to catch no one else's fucking scummy ass sickness you know what i think i want to give me a a bowl of pho it's nice and cold out today i think a bowl of pho would hit the spot oh you good <laughs> hey my horn works Sounds way better than the shitty stock one. Remember that Denali sound bomb I put on here? It worked. There's something about pho that hits just right. Just right. You just get that warm ass fucking broth all over your lips. And you're just... So we're going to take this beautiful, luxurious, Beverly Hills-esque street all the way down to Baseline. And then we're going to go down uh, Crackhead Central till we hit our faux spot, because that's where it's at. In the best part of San Bernardino, baseline. I don't know if I want that pallet jack literally just looking at me like it's about to roll out. 
Dude needs to put a put his damn door down. Dude, isn't it scary though? Like how easily diseases can be fucking contracted and spread. Like, like you could be like at you know the local Lasex shop or something like that, and you're like, oh, that new 18-inch Candy Cane Special Edition Mandingo Steel to and Drill to Attachments. Oh my God, this is. I, hey, would you like this? And then, you know, your wife's like, no, I already got two of them at home. And you're like, but this has the candy cane. And then she'll be like, it's all good. I still have the turkey flavored one. And then you just like, oh, fuck it. And you put it back. Then the next person comes and picks that up. And then that person just grabbed your hand grip that you were just like digging in your ass with. The next thing you know, you got their sickness. That's how easy it is. That's literally how easy it is. Nice bike shit. Oh, here's the faux spot. We got here quick as shit. Oh, fuck. This is dangerous. It's like all nasty as grimy dirt. You gotta be careful rolling into those things. Oh my god, they're crowded as fucking hell here. That sucks dick. Oh. Nope, time to get some faux, guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to dodge this grimy as dirt that will make my tires slide like a bitch. <laughs> oh man, that was good. My whole insides are warmed up. And I'm sure the only other way someone could say that is if they are on the other end of a cream pie compilation on Pornhub. But not me, I ate some good old foe. Oh man, look at those mountains in the back. Oh, look at that. That is pretty. Look at that. What is that, Mount Baldy or some shit? That looks stupid nice. We're over here talking about sicknesses and my, my water cup had like these three yellow spots that weren't fully washed off on the inside. And uh, <laughs> I got so grossed out I didn't even drink water so now I'm fucking parched. Merry New Year! Oh my god, we got a secret alley. What the fuck is in here? Oh. Looks like an old ass building. This dude literally has a fucking... <laughs> he has a window tag that says Huge Dick on board. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you gotta be a actual huge dick to like cell phone it and then flaunt it on your vehicle. Hey, look, we got the shoes hanging from the power lines. If any of you guys need some fucking cocaine, looks like there might be some nearby. Might. Don't get your hopes up. There might be. I'm actually really curious to see what kind of fucking cars they're selling here. I shit you not, I bet you these cars were for sale when I was a fucking little kid here. Let's let's take a look at what kind of a, you know, an off-the-road San Bernardino dealership gets you. Alright, we got some old Pontiac. And that guy's just staring at that cement thing like it's a TV. Look at that, an old car. And he's still staring at it. So we got an old Ford uh, sleeper. I wonder if anybody's ever been in there. Oh look, somebody crawled in there. They probably fucking make, made a makeshift house in there. Look, every car here has flat tires. Every car here has been sitting for literally over a decade. No shit. A Cadillac, a Volvo. Which one of these would actually be the best bang for the buck? I'm wondering. I'm actually wondering. Let's take a look. Ugh. Look at this Toyota right here, man. Little elbow grease in that baby would be riding another 400,000 miles. Look, the entire 
the entire dash completely gashed up for a uh, nice little bit of style and appeal. You know what I mean? Got an old Lincoln right here. Hey, let's, let's, let's go with the Lincoln. Look at this guy right here. Shoot. Look at that. Look at that. A Vulcan? Is that what that is? Damn, an old Mercury Cougar. Man, you got the bangers in here. I like this. I like this. Damn, an old Buick Skylark, though. Hey, ain't none of you could handle this car. This car is for OGs only. Ain't no one rocking the Skylark except a true certified OG. You have to literally be certified. Damn, an old Subi wagon. An old Cutlass Sierra. With all the little fucking flags underneath it. Damn. He's got the true like taste cars. You know what I mean? Damn. Ain't nothing that a little elbow grease can't help here. Dang. This guy over here has flags that says Best Buy. Damn. Like electronics are like the best buy I could have out here for a used car. Oh look. There's a 350Z. An O2 for 4200 of a Hyundai? 4200 for that? I think these, uh, I think these cars are frozen in time because these prices don't match up. A 99 for 4200 cash? A 99 for 4200? A 95 for 2400? See, this is a Toyota though, so it, this thing would probably start right up. Dude, look at the dash. It's like clay tiles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> There's probably a strain of fucking herpes in each one of these cars from like 1973. Let's see what other kind of fucking banger mobiles we can buy out here in San Bernardino. Let's see what happens if you guys were out here with like five grand and see what kind of cars you'd be able to get. All right, let's see what kind of, let's see what kind of cars we got here. 92 for 2200 cash right there or you can get this mitsubishi 3000 gt for 3400 and this one's 4200 and it's a 94 damn can you imagine how many parts are on these cars that people would probably die to have like you know to make their own all perfect a bunch of PT losers back there man remember back in the day when you had a PT loser and you're the coolest person in the block yeah me neither they got a Jag a 96 Jag for 3600 look how clean that is Actually, you could eat off of that thing we got a star auto group right here we got a Coyote, a Honda, a Ford, a VW. How much is this one? $7,900? Do you have any Crown Victorias? Are these Ford Edges? An 08 for 5900 Are these like explorers? <laughs> I wouldn't buy a car from here with your guys' dick. I wouldn't trust one of these places as far as I could throw them. All these trash ass fucking auto spots. If anybody even remotely like bats a remote interest into one, they're gonna be like, ah, ah, like vultures onto their fucking ass. Dude, could you imagine if you guys got one of those cars down there in one of those little shitty fucking side of the road lots and like you sat down and then next thing you know you got like a strain of like Goody Hole Aids from 1974 that was only found in four cases prior and the virus has been lost and thought to be quarantined and next thing you know you just buy one of those cars off the lot and your Goody Hole's infected like just like that Wow, look how beautiful Sucumbi Lake looks like. 
arms beautifully hanging out the top of the water from last week's murders. We got mangy ducks waddling around. We got squirrels with half of their tails cut off basking from tra tree to tree. Oh man, this is nice. This is real nice. Well guys, I'm going to go hunt for some more crazy strains of new viruses and diseases. Until next time, folks. Thank you for hanging out. All links will be down below if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the fuck out of that like button. And you guys have a real good day. I'll see you guys later. Trail!